My name's Kevin, and I'll be your health coach today. Let's get started. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being unbalanced and 10 being extremely balanced, how balanced do you feel on your average day at BC? I ask that question two to three times a week. As a volunteer health coach in the Office of Health Promotion, I have the opportunity to conduct one-on-one -on -one <coughs> meetings with students called individual health plans. Now, I want you to think back to your first semester here at BC. Think of all the excitement and the sense of freedom and finally growing up. With all those great feelings though, you probably also felt an increased sense of responsibility. For me, I struggled transitioning from growing up in a small conservative town in Pennsylvania to a big campus like BC. It was a hard transition. The hardest part was I was no longer held accountable to anyone but myself. On an average Friday afternoon, here were some of my thoughts freshman year. Well, I drank too much last night, so I'm going to have to run five miles today. And yikes, I'm going to go out with my friends this weekend and probably get late nights, so I should go to the gym and uh, probably have to spend most of the day in the library. These are just some of the examples of how I rationalized unhealthy decisions during my time as a freshman at Boston College. I was young, ambitious, and thrilled to start my college experience. Mm -hmm. I had a great year. I had a great group of friends. I got good grades. I was involved in a lot of clubs and activities. Mm -hmm. I had run the Boston Marathon. It was truly a great year. But something was off. Internally, I struggled. I didn't feel great. While the decisions I was making kept me in decent health, I wouldn't say I truly lived a wholesome and healthy life. And up until recently, I hadn't really thought much about the crucial component to my health that was missing. This past semester, I was lucky enough to study abroad in Galway, Ireland. It was a time of my life, and I sort of wish I could be in Galway now. <laughs> but. So in transitioning back, I started to think back to my time at BC before studying abroad. Abroad, I learned how to you know, grocery shop so that I had balanced nutrition. There wasn't a cafeteria where I could swipe and a nice little tag that told us BC Nourished, this is your fruits and these are your veggies. <laughs> and I learned how to exercise without access to a gym. I mean, as bad as we may think the Plex may be, it's better than no gym at all. And I really learned how to drink responsibly in a culture where we were going to pubs almost every day. So in transitioning back, as I continued to conduct these one-on-one -on -one meetings with students and get to talk to some of the people in the Office of Health Promotion, I started to think about my freshman year. I started to think about what was missing and what had changed. And I finally realized that the key element of my health that was missing was balance. When we consciously make healthy decisions, balanced decisions, rather than simply justify the unhealthy ones, we create an equilibrium. And it feels good. It feels good to be balanced. It feels wholesome and healthy. Freshman year, I told myself that it's OK if you're pulling all-nighters and go on these crazy binge exercise routines and go out two or three nights a week, because that's what college is about. But it's not. We all know there's more than that here at BC. So for me, the thing I want to leave you with is finding that balance. We're not at home. We don't have parents or teachers or coaches holding us accountable. We are the sources of our own balance. We're accountable to ourselves. And we're accountable to make our own healthy decisions. This balance doesn't mean that you can't go out on Friday night or you have to spend all your free time in the library. Balance just means taking into consideration all the aspects that affect our health. And believe it or not, most of the decisions we make on this campus affect our health. So 
I'd like to leave you today with this. Not as a health coach, you can throw out the 1 to 10 scale. How balanced do you feel on your average day at BC?